Hi, it's Todd from Todd Cutler here, and this is another one of my book reviews where I talk about books which have made an impression on me, books which have impressed me. And today's one is The Practical Guide to Man-Powered Weapons and Ammunition by Richard Middleton. There'll be a link in the notes. And this book is just fantastic. And not only is it fantastic, it's not very expensive. So I've got a listing on the back here of $15. Uh, I don't know how much it is now, but you know, probably $25, 20 pounds, something like that worth every penny 10 times over. So it's a while since I've read this book, but my understanding is the guy was a vicar actually, and he's just got an enormous interest in man-powered weapons and ammunition. So what that doesn't mean is guns. That's not what this is about. It's about crossbows, blowpipes, uh, long bows, regular kind of bows, pellet bows, catapults, atlatls, anything that is powered by a human being, not a chemical, and it delivers it. But there's an exception to that. He also talks about air guns, but air guns from the point of view that you're actually pumping them up. So it's man powered in that sense. And it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant. But I'm gonna read you just a couple of little bits out of the book, first of all, because I think this sets a bit of a, a frame to it. It's very informative. It is also quite amusing in parts. And it actually, genuinely, there was a skit with a, a pine cone, a catapult, and a dog that just had me roaring with laughter. Anyway, this book is offered from the, for sale on the condition that it is understood and accepted by the purchaser. All readers making any device that stores or releases large amounts of energy is extremely dangerous. That is definitely correct, especially when you're talking about air guns. When you have pressurized gas, you've really got to watch out for it because you don't just pump it up to twice the pressure and you think, oh, that's twice the energy. Oh, no. Not that at all. But this book goes into that, actually. The author is not a professional engineer, but he might as well be. He gives all the sums and the equations and the reasoning for various bits throughout. Any mishaps or injuries or whatever severity incurred in the building of this thing or device or whatever, is not the sake of the author. All right. Basically, what he's saying is this stuff is dangerous. And it is. Now, we're just going to have a quick look here at the chapter sections actually, because it will give you a good idea of what's going on. So, bullet shooting crossbows, bullet crossbows, catapults, hand stone bow, blowpipes, low pressure air guns, the theory. So he's talking about regular kind of shoot rabbit in the back garden air guns. But he goes into what happens with different pellet weights, pellet designs, the uh, foot pounds of the, of the gun itself, what that does to grouping shots, how it disturbs uh, grouping shots by sort of altering something really quite innocent. You think, oh, if I put one one foot pound more on the uh, on the energy, I'll get you know a bit more power. Well, that will probably give me a flatter trajectory. That will tighten things up. That's not actually the case. So he goes into that high pressure air guns. He's built plenty of them. And again, big bore, big pressure vessels. There's a lot going on there. Fantastically interesting. Again. Compounding complexity, really interesting design for a compound crossbow in here. Velocity measurements and so on. But all the way through the book, you've just got little cross references to different things, just moving around the place. So it is, I don't know, whatever it is, 150, 180, 200 pages. 200 pages, absolutely jam packed with fascinating detail, fact, mathematical consideration, uh, engineering design, practical application. So, I mean, you know, for instance, here, you get an idea of the book. This is entertaining, actually genuinely entertaining, but on here, you've got two data tables. There's real information on here. Flick through again, you know, okay, great. So I flick through another few pages, uh, and we've got mathematical calculations and formulae. This book is a very, very rare thing, that it is readable, really technically informative, and if you're interested in man-powered weapons, like I am, fantastically useful. Can I recommend it? From the bottom of my soul. So Richard Middleton, it's written 20 odd years ago now, but if you're still out there, what a cracking book. Fantastic. Go find it and enjoy it. And there's loads more book reviews and all sorts of weird stuff on this channel. All history related, but different. And if you like things like this, go check out our websites as well. We've got two of them and they're absolutely brilliant, chocked full of medieval weaponry, things and crossbows, things that you'll be interested in. See you again.